Hey guys, I wanted to show you today Hobart's only bus box. Amazing stuff. So I'm down on Hill Street in West Hobart and um, this is uh, the concept of a bus box. And the bus box is a bus stop that forces the bus to stop in the traffic. So here we see the good old Mount Stewart bus stopping. Traffic's held up behind, but it's only for a pretty short time. Now you may think, well, what's the advantage of a bus box? Well, there's quite a few advantages. Firstly, in areas that have tight on-street parking, such as heritage areas in West Hobart and North Hobart, uh, we can gain about two or three car spots uh, per bus box installed. And that's a big gain if there's three or four bus stops on your street. We're talking, you know, six to 10 car spots that we can achieve in a residential area, which is a great saving. But not only that, it uh, opens up areas so that we can have bus stops that are compliant for access. Uh, so bus stops are required to have tactile uh, feedback mechanisms so that people who are vision impaired know what, where the bus will stop, which is the white strip here. But it also gives us land on which we can put better bus stop infrastructure, something that I'm really passionate about. Hobart's pretty cold and, and windy and on occasion wet. Uh, and I think we should have better stops than what we do have. Uh, so that while people wait, they are comfortable and hopefully that gets more people out of cars and onto buses. So yeah, this is a, a bus box and certainly if I'm elected to council, uh, I'll be pushing for more bus boxes to be installed in appropriate areas. I'm not talking about every stop, but in appropriate areas around Hobart, particularly areas that suffer from major on-street parking problems for residents. That's it from me. Talk soon.